Raindrops chasing the wind swept Crashing in waves of gold I'm just begun I'm just begun Lakapan is a landlocked municipality nestled near Cagayan's extreme north. It lies about 100 kilometers northwest of the provincial capital, Tuguegrao City. The area is generally characterized by a mixture of flat and rolling terrains occasionally crisscrossed by meandering rivers and streams cascading downstream north to blend with the murky waters of the mighty Cagayan River. Its vast, once thickly forested area was originally inhabited by the Negritos or Aitas, later called the Agtas or Atas. Towards the end of the Spanish colonial period, the Ilocanos, well known for their trademark as thrifty people from the Ilocos, began their exploratory incursion into the area. From there on, streams after streams of Ilocano-speaking migrants started dominating the area, pushing back the aborigines farther into the deep recesses of the jungle. Today, Alakapan is becoming one of the fastest growing economies in the province, with all developmental projects taking place almost all at once. Spurred by the conducive investment climate, coupled with the reinvigorated state of the local economy, outside investors are gradually pouring in. With this very promising economic impetus, Alakapan is indeed slowly but determinedly raising high Cagayan's northwest frontier as it strengthens its lead to becoming the premier town in the second district of Cagayan. Its original land area covered a sprawling 81,750 hectares of agricultural and forest lands. Some of its land territories, however, were ceded after World War II to its neighboring towns, namely Apari, Cabananyugan, Lalo, Lasam, and Ballesteros. About 936 hectares are devoted to rice farming, while the remaining areas are planted with corn, cassava, banana, and coconut. The average annual pala production of Alakapan is estimated at 2,168,640 bags at 50 kilograms per bag. Its forested areas cover approximately a total of 11,298 hectares. Alienable and disposable lands cover about 16,053 hectares. Alakapan is the ninth largest municipality in the province in terms of land area and considered as one of the high production areas for Palay. Alakapan is now composed of 27 regular barangays. The barangays from the south along the Maharlika Highway which stretches up to its northernmost barangay of Batukay are Irinan, Maluyo, Besan, Laben, Dagupan, Centro East, Daan Ili, and Bulu. Its eastern barangays are Pakak, Tamboli, Tubel, San Juan, Dalayap, Pinubungan, Burut, and Gagadangan. The barangays in the west are Central West, Kataratan, Silagan, Kapanikyan Norte, Kapanikyan Sur, Mapurao, Gatatan, Utan, Kapalutan, and Kapagaran. Of the many interesting historical accounts and exciting political overtures that Alakapan went through for almost over a century now, 
it is rather sad to note that only a few of its historical past were recorded or chronicled. Fortunately, one such invaluable historical account still exists today. After deliberation years circa 1955, or a decade following the end of the Japanese occupation in the country, the famed folklorist, historian, and author Ed de Rivera Castilet, who hails from Apari, Cagayan, started writing a book entitled Cagayan, Province, and Her People. The book contains detailed historical accounts of its town in the province, including that of Alacapan, based on local folklore, tales, myths, customs, traditions, wars, and verbal accounts of elderly in the village, passed on from generation to generation through the words of mouth. Castellet wrote, Alacapan had its beginning as a village in the middle of a jungle. Its early inhabitants, the Negritos, led a life no different from that of the Banags. During daytime, they engaged in hunting and keeping house on the ground. After dark, a sort of protection against the Kalingas, they climbed the trees to sleep in the cabins they built up there. And to ensure the safety while sleeping, they laid up traps under the guise of leaves scattered all the ground. So dried were the leaves that the mere passing of the breeze made enough noise to awaken the whole village. The one mentioned was gleaned from the accounts of an unknown missionary and with the significant pioneering of Francisco Umengan. He was an ex-municipal president from Apari. He came early in 1914 to open a forest concession in the immediate area of the Negrito village wherein Alacapan was later to rise. While going about his exploration, his curiosity was aroused to the point of annoyance by the skittering of leaves scattered within the vicinity. Alacapan was the reply of his Negrito guide from whom he inquired about the significance of the noise. He learned that the word stands for trap. At the stroke of an impulse, he named this spot Alacapan. The name stuck. There was another tale, a favorite one among children in the early times, which had been told and retold by the village elderly to their grandchildren. The tale has a melodramatic tone. The storytelling usually went this way. In the olden times, so the storyteller would begin. There lived two great warriors who possessed almost magical powers. The two legendary warriors were descendants of two different warring tribes named Allah and Kapan. But sometimes luck has a way of playing around with mortal lives. In short, Allah and Kapan fell in love with the charms of the most beautiful maiden in the village. To settle the issue as to who should marry the girl, the two warriors decided to fight it out to a duel. So Allah and Kapan fought the fiercest battle they've ever fought in their lives for love. As the tale goes, the two dueled for days, and the days became nights, and the nights became days. They fought with all their might, without let up. The days wore on. Allah and Kapan became too weak, too exhausted to finish their duel. They were bleeding profusely to death and both of them died almost at the same time without anyone being proclaimed the victor. In honor of the two slain gallant warriors, the villagers named the village after them, Allah Kapan. Tracing the evolutionary progression of Allah Kapan as a budding political unit of government, Castellet recalled, Alacapan first saw democracy in action in 1926. The district government of Tawit Mountain Province, to which Alacapan originally belonged, appointed the village headmaster. For three months or so, he directed the affairs of Alacapan and collected taxes for the same. Because Alacapenos thought that under the American regime, there won't be any taxes to be paid. 
this obligation proved irritating to them. They were irked furthermore when the same year Deputy Governor Capitan Claro Lizardo authored a resolution that Alacapan be made a municipal district under the sub-province of Opayao. Strongly against the idea were some prominent Alacapenos, namely Francisco Umengan, Odon Ravilas, Felix de la Cruz, Prudencio Turida, Nemesio Tolete, and Numeriano Barsatan. The reason was that they had already filed a claim for the annexation of Alacapan as a municipal district of Cagayan. The political move to annex Alacapan to Cagayan had to wait for almost two years before it materialized. On June 30, 1927, the Office of Governor General Eugene Gilmore issued Executive Order No. 68 upon recommendation of the Provincial Board of Mountain Province concurred in by the Director of the Bureau of Non-Christian Tribes and the Secretary of the Interior separating Alacapan from the Municipal District of Tawit, sub-province of Payao Mountain Province and organizing it as an independent municipal district under the name of Alacapan with the seat of the municipal district government in the barrio of Alacapan. The separation and organization of Alacapan as a municipal district took effect on July 1, 1927, its official founding date, as a regular political subdivision of government as per EO No. 68. With the vigorous support of its inhabitants and through the intercession of Governor Processo Sebastian, Alacapan was finally turned over to Cagayan in 1928, but it was only a few months after liberation that, by virtue of Commonwealth Act No. 590, authored by Congressman Miguel Pio, Alacapan gained the status of a regular municipality. I was a teacher in all over the room. For the year, when my father liked me to take home, he was the one who transferred because he was the mayor. I was born here in 1930. So you count that. From 1930 up to now, I only I was only absent in Lakapan when I went to law. Lakapan was I was born in Lakapan. I we are five uh, sisters. When the war broke out, I was uh, in grade five, 1940. Yeah, Four years ang uh, war and no? yeah. uh, When the war broke out, uh, the elementary school, Alakapan is in Danil yet. It, it is not yet transferred in this place. Mm. So, when uh, I have already mine, I have Lapanon school. Uh, but uh, the family of Alakapan, I'm popular of them. The superior family of Alakapan are the Lacruz, Mete, and Ramla. So the, the role of Emerson was very popular. He was the one who lived. Uh, in different barangays. Uh, so, when I have not uh, remembered that Alakapan had only given you, Alakapan was big by barangay captain. Uh, so, Alakapan has only four schools. When I have already mine, I was already in grade 4 when I remember those. So I can still remember our 
division superintendent American. The first governor that I can remember is Honorable uh, Aduro. Uh, she visited once Alakapan when Aduro with the wife. Alakapan, he got the kid to you. He got the panunot to school of, uh, school of uh, something to eat. Alalamos, uh, wild animals. Nagado, kayo wala. Uh, Alakapan, he said. No. Inspiration of those people who are coming here. Oh. Tamo yung kami talakapan. Nagtaba kailang tigagana. Ano kailang di wild nga ma makan ito. Ito nga abundant ikot kailang ito hindi. The Magapit Breeds is a suspension breeds spanning 257 meters that connects the east and west sides of the Cagayan River in Lalo, Cagayan. Opened in 1978, the breeds was also named by the locals as the Golden Gate of Cagayan. Silagan Limestone Formation. It sits unperturbed within a thinly forested area in Barangay Silagan. It has a cave which is believed to stretch far down west to the border with the province of Payao. The Alakapan Municipal Park. The rehabilitated and improved park is one of the pet projects of incumbent Mayor Harry Florida. It boasts of a rubberized oval, an array of physical fitness equipment, and a fully furnished children's playground. Emeredith Memorial Park. Located on the western periphery of Central West Alakapan, Cagayan, the park was the second private memorial park established in Cagayan. It was founded in September 2006. Alakapan Public Market The public market has two buildings. Built during the term of Mayor Potasio G. Saldivar, the old building houses the dry goods section, the grocery and the vegetable section. The second building is actually an expansion of the old building. It was constructed during Mayor Nathaniel Onya's administration.